all new on the doctors, the new procedure that gets rid of varicose veins. There is no need for any incision whatsoever. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Are you hiding your legs because of unsightly varicose veins? Find out how you can go from this to this today. That's later. We're tackling your medical breaking points today, and our next guest says she kept her embarrassing health problem hidden for many years, but it still broke her confidence. I've had varicose veins for about four years. I've looked at several procedures. One was vein stripping, and I was very nervous because there was scarring. I definitely don't feel as confident as I used to. I haven't worn shorts, skirts, or dresses in four years unless they're long or have covered my legs, and I certainly feel like I've aged. Hi, Christine. Hello again. We're going to take a look at your leg really quick today, okay? You have a large proportion of veins here that are probably quite tender sometimes. Varicose veins are a cosmetic byproduct of your veins not working properly and not returning blood to the heart. So what we're going to do is put a needle in the affected vein. We're going to pass a laser into it. It's going to seal off the veins that are causing this problem, and it's going to actually increase your circulation because it's going to decrease the amount of stagnant blood in your leg that's pooling in these veins, okay? Excellent. I'm so excited. What's different about this procedure, in most procedures you have to make an incision and the sheath is usually about as wide as this tubing. This special procedure, the laser actually goes through the needle, so there is no need for any incision whatsoever. No scar, less pain. So that's the vein that we're going to be addressing, that little thing that's winking in the middle of the screen. That's what's the cause of her symptoms. A little pinch, you get a little blood flush back like that, you now you're in the right place. So. You can see that the laser has gone through this needle all the way up her leg until this point where it stops right there. That black stuff on the screen is the fluid expanding around her and it's sealing up the diseased vein. Taking a lot of care to avoid any potential nerve injuries and the nerves run very close to these blood vessels. And we are finished. I am so happy. That wasn't bad at all. The operation went very well. Um, you're going to feel a little bit of, of tightness in your leg, which is normal. Okay, that's the vein shrinking up and hardening down. Will I see the results fairly immediately? How does how You will see a decent amount of results as early as probably tomorrow. Wow. All right, post-procedure, who's ready to see Christine Shaw for life? Yes! Yes, for the first time in over four years. Y'all ready? Yes. All right. Come on out, Christine. Let's see those legs. Congratulations. So I'm, you know, I'm staring at her legs, Dr. Cross. <laughs> How long ago did you have the procedure done? Oh, goodness, last week. It's surreal to be here with all of you today, and I just can't believe that I'm not in stockings or in pants for the first time in a long time. And you're on for national you. television, yes. which is pretty cool. Showing off those <laughs> Joining us too. is actually Christine's doctor, cardiovascular surgeon, Dr. David Gruner. And, and clearly, the effect of this takes place almost immediately if she's a week out. It does. Although we like to complicate things, it's very simple. It's just plumbing. So once you fix the uh, blocked passage, everything kind of gets better. But David, I, I remember the old days doing the vein strippings and vascular surgery that a woman would have those multiple stair step incisions that look like a little ladder that really was a big trade off. It's, it's whether you're better off keeping those varicose veins or accepting those scars. I actually see a lot of those patients that have had that in the past, and one of the huge discrepancies now is we have very high resolution ultrasound, which is non-invasive, and allows us to be very, very specific and perfectionistic in correcting this problem. With the vein stripping in the past, a lot of times they left veins inside that were very important and actually made the problem worse several years down the road. Well, Dr. Gruner, thank you for sharing this technology with us. Thanks for sharing your legs. Yes. Fabulous. Don't go away, we'll be right back.